You're watching WME TV. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Ty with WMETV.com, another episode of Backstage with Ty. We're out here at the Boondocks, bunch of cool bands going on. Right now we got Rhino, the drummer for Angels of Babylon. Angels of Babylon, absolutely. He's getting ready to go on the stage here in a few minutes. Uh, like I said, a bunch of great bands. So tell me a little bit about uh, Angels of Babylon, how you guys are doing, the uh, material coming out, all the fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, Ty. Um, well, I started this band back in, uh, probably 2000 and, well, actually I had a lot of songs written already, probably around 2008, and um, they were already done, and they were demoed, and I just didn't know what to do with them, you know, because I was just doing a lot of stuff at home, in my home studio, and um, I went out to Arizona to do a studio thing with a singer that uh, I met on MySpace, back when MySpace was, was happening, and, um, I did some studio work out there and I, with this guy, and, and then we met, uh, at the same time, we, we met um, Dave Ellison. And, uh, this, from Megadeth? Yeah, from Megadeth, and they said, hey, you know, uh, the singer said, we should do something together. You know, and I said, perfect, I got the songs, all I need is a singer. And he said, well, let's ask Dave if he wants to do it. And he said, sure. We asked Dave Ellison, he went, yeah, man, he, wanted, he was into it. And um, I got a, a, met a guitar player on, on MySpace I thought was, was really hot, Ethan Brosh. And, um, they just, you know, came in, we recorded, the, re-recorded the music and put out a record and it did real well overseas. Uh, but since then, David Ellison went back to Megadeth and um, Dave Feffelt, the singer, decided uh, he wasn't, didn't want to do it anymore. So everybody started to leave and I thought, well, what are we going to do for a singer? I kept auditioning people and it just wasn't cutting it. And I thought, well, you know, since I demoed the songs and I initially sang them, I'll just sing it. I'll, you know, out of really kind of necessity because, you know, this song, the song, the music is very stylized, and the, you know, the the singing is really high, and and it's just a specific sound I have in my head for the music. Nobody could seem to do it, so I'm just gonna do it. I'll bring the drums out front, and I have a three-piece band, and you know, we put the we put the orchestration parts. There's a lot of orchestration in the music. And we, I put them on uh, track, so we have that going at the same time with the band. And it makes for a really nice big sound. And, you know, a lot of bands are doing that today. They're, you go out to Europe, and a lot of them, are, you know, have their orchestration parts on track, sometimes even background vocals. So, I mean, you know, it's the same thing. I played it. We played them. They're just, they're just there, ready and, and ready to go, you know, when we play live. So, but, uh, uh, but we put out two records, Angels of Babylon, Kingdom of Evil, and Angels of Babylon, Thunder God. And uh, like I said, they've done really well overseas. So we're just trying to we're trying to branch out local more than really overseas. Because I have two versions. I have a, a, uh, the American version of Angels of Babylon and a European version. So uh, you know, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more touring with with Angels overseas, maybe in 2015. And as well in in America, we're trying to branch out, starting here in Florida's home base, and see what happens. So who you said it's a three piece? So you're playing drums and singing. That's remarkable right there. That is not too many people that can pull that off. So who else is in the band? Uh, Chris Rosola from Steelheart fame. Great guitar player, a great guy. Uh, Tim Sirachi, this guy here, uh, <laughs> great bass player. Um, you know, the, probably, the, probably the best in Brevard as far as I'm concerned. And he's a little wild. He's kind of a loose cannon, but yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of things about him. So, is he? You think he's related to Mark Sirachi from uh, Crocus? Let's ask him. Come over here, man. Watch out! They'll trip over the trip tripod. Are you, are you related to Mark Sirachi? Who? Mark Sirachi from Crocus. No, they spell it different. They spell it different. Hey, Mark, how you doing, man? Welcome to uh, uh, WME TV. Um, we'll make sure we're still in the frame over. Let's move over this way just a little bit. Make room for the um, bad guy. So, so how do uh, how do you like the music, man? You guys are kicking ass, and a lot of people are liking it. Man. I, I'm really like musically retarded to a point, you know, and uh, I really like this stuff, you know. I really, really feel the Angels of Babylon stuff. It just, it just, it just moves me. It, it's hard to, to grasp my attention and keep it if it's not Rush, unfortunately. You know? Well, and Kenny's uh, Rhino's got some pipes too, man. I mean, you, to be able to sing like that and play drums is the best singer I ever played with live you know 
And a hell of a drummer, too. You know what he reminds me of? Like, like when I would go see Dio as a kid, and it sounded just like the album. To, to replicate a vocal performance like this guy does is just insane. It's it's absolutely insane. awesome. So you guys are playing here tonight. What's the uh, next stop? Where are you guys Actually, up Actually, we do have another gig. We have another one at Shady Oaks on February 13th. February 13th, Shady Oaks, right here in Melbourne. It's actually right down the road. There you go. And um, you, everybody needs to come out and see that February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. So you got to make sure. Don't worry about your sweetheart. Bring her ass, yeah, too. don't worry about your sweetheart. I love make, that. Make that, make that her Valentine's present. Yeah, buddy. Uh, but anyway, that's it. You know? Cool, man. So what time are you guys going? 10? Yeah, about 10. 10, 11, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, cool. So any... any other plans outside of uh, just a few shows? I mean, you got you get ready to do a new album anytime yeah, I'm soon? Trying, I'm trying to work on that, but it's it's just slow because there's been so much going on with, uh, well, I've been doing some stuff with Jack Star, I've been doing that, I've been doing a lot of stuff with Holy Hell again. I'm back with Holy Hell. Really? Yeah, yeah so I'm back with those guys and I've been recording drums. They, they actually took the guy that they had after I left and took him right off. And they just gave me the stereo track to the songs, and I'm putting mine right on. That's badass, man. But holy hell, if you haven't heard them, look them up on YouTube. Badass band. He played drums for them originally. Now he's back with them. Yeah. Yeah. Got Mark in the band playing bass. Yeah. Only guy, Tim. Marks and Crocus. Marks and Crocus. <laughs> Tim's in Melbourne. I, I was. <laughs> anyway, the only person we're missing right now is yeah, your guitar Chris player, Hill. Chris. But, you know, you he's snooze, you lose. He's He's never going to show up. He'll, he'll probably just, he'll come here like like one minute before we got to play. Ah, yeah. uh, well, you know, as long as he's here, right? That's okay. Boop Chris <laughs> pops out of a friggin' phone booth. Remember those phone booths? The phone booths? Yeah, right. The Superman phone booths? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what Chris comes out hey, with. Hey, one thing is, I want to find out real quick, is who who does the majority of the, the lyrics and the music? You, is it a collaborative effort or is it all you? I, mean, I, I had a specific sound I wanted for the band from the very beginning. Because like I said, I have a specific sound the way, the, for the songs I write. And they were demoed first and I just continue with that. It's just a certain sound I had and I wanted to keep it. I'm not like a control freak or anything like that, but it's just a, it's something that I, I had in my head and everybody else seemed to follow. You know, I mean, it's like. You know, what do you think? He loves it. You know? It's extremely He's rare to 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 want to replicate somebody else's idea. You know what yeah, I mean? That's, you, you, that's, that's, that's what it's no, but it, right. it's just awesome. I really dig this stuff. Yeah, I, I, you know? he does. I could tell. I could tell it's real from his heart. And same with uh, Chris. He loves it too, man. He he. T and I believe him. I do. I'm you know, honored so. to be sharing a stage with <laughs> with the too. likes of Rhino and John Cole. <laughs> oh, you're great company, but <laughs> hey, you're no slouch either, man. No kidding. I'm just a parrot. <laughs> well, listen, you got tell us tell us something about Angels of Babylon that nobody knows or would know. Uh, well, let's see, something we wouldn't would or wouldn't know. That guy. Too cute. No. It's not even Valentine's Day yet. Um, let's see, what would they know or wouldn't know? Uh, that's a good point. That's a good question. Well, everything, all the songs are tuned to uh, drop D. But Job the musicians would notice that. I wouldn't, wouldn't care about that. Well, that makes it easier with the vocals, though. Yeah, but it's just, I think it sounds heavier. I'm not going to go much lower than that, I don't think. It's just, you know. I'll, no job C? No, nah. none of that. I got a little yeah. point about Angels of Babylon that I noticed. Being written from a drummer's standpoint, the guy's a genius, man. He doesn't replicate anything. He, he, he uses fingering. That He's uses, blushing. Yeah, no, 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 no. He uses fingering patterns, melodies, and phrasing that that a guitar player wouldn't think of because you're thinking it from more right. of a percussive Cause aspect. Because I don't, cause I don't you know, know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the idea in your head. It's beautiful, yeah. and it makes it challenging at the same yeah. time to play. Yeah. You know, and the energy's there, man. You know, Tim brought so much energy to the band because, you know, we did a benefit a while back in Merritt Island and. Oh my gosh, the, the the response from the people was amazing. And then one of the biggest, one of the things they were saying over, oh, that bass player is so awesome. Who is that guy? Who was that guy? Ah, oh, it was Moses. Yeah. You know, he had his hair like this, you know, and all that. But uh, that's the one thing people were saying. They were, Spaghetti they, Lee. They were really complimenting and really saying a lot about. So yeah, I know I love him. But then you know, uh, he had some things to do, and, and we parted for a little little while. We got this other guy, and it sucked. I said, dude, I gotta have, I gotta have you back, man. You got chemistry, man. Yeah, that's what it is, man. It's good stuff, man. Just have to love it.
had to have him back, man. I just couldn't take it. I was like, man, I, I can't do this without you. I just can't. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Look, guys, we're going to wrap this up really quick. I want to thank you guys again for being on Backstage with Ty, WMETV.com. Yeah, yeah, and we will have this up running really soon. And thank you guys. Any last words? Make, Rock and roll. Yeah, and be sure to support local music, man. Lo it's very important here in Brevard. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and anytime you hear of Angels of Babylon, come on out. Let's, we'd like to see you. You can check them out on Facebook, yep. um, YouTube, YouTube everywhere. Angels of Babylon. Don't forget it because you will be hearing about them soon if you haven't already. Anyways, this is Ty with Angels of Babylon, Rhino, and Tim. Oh, you, got it. you guys kick ass. We'll see you next time. <laughs>